Ray coming in with the power of juice. <laughs> you ever just go up to Frozen and just give him a sippy? <laughs> Ray is a character. All right. This whole matchup's gonna be lots and lots of nares and lots and lots of figuring out who can catch whose landings better. Not fast enough to catch the warp, but damage is gonna be trading pretty quickly on both of these ends. I could see this uh, these games going fairly swift, but I could also see the set going to game five. Like they're both oh, yeah. very talented players, well versed in their characters. And they both have their, their zone where their momentum is absolutely crazy. Like, if they get that that right button, they can take someone from, like, 0 to 80. Oh, yeah, it's it's definitely not out of the ordinary to see Suarez or Frozen just start to hit the red line if they're in the middle of, like, a hot combo. Yeah. And, you know, this it's kind of hard to, to watch a match like this because it's like you want both the boys to win, but someone's... Someone's got to knock the other out. Mm -hmm. And on paper, you, you would expect it to be frozen. But as far as has always shared how much he uh, he hates this matchup, in equal parts, he's studied the matchup and practiced it. So if you are looking to play the Yosh and you're looking to study the Yosh, what kills and doesn't kill the Yosh, this is probably a good set ahead of you. Oh, greedy Suarez trying to go for a third egg. Like. Suarez and... Uh, so and Frozen are 1.2 PGR points away from each other. <laughs> <laughs> like their score. <laughs> so what, is that like a, a 0.2 of a fatality like leaking in? Uh, it scores at 50.7 and Frozen at 51.9. 1.2. Yeah. Show them, Suarez. I don't know. Like. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Well, I'm just happy the boys are PGR. Uh, we were discussing this off camera earlier, how mm -hmm. like... There, there's not a lot of PGR players, like, around, but Tri-State has such a high density of them that we were even discussing the idea of this event if it was PGR just by pure happenstance, because Suarez and Frozen happened to be in attendance. Suarez and Sinji fought earlier, and that would have been a, a PGR viable match for the sake of wins. Yeah. Like, Tri-State is truly blessed when it comes to that position where we could just question if a random monthly happens to be a globally ranked event. And that's game one. You know, Su Suarez always champions that Yoshi is like a top 15, top 10 character. And most people will say towards the opposite, where Yoshi is like a mid-tier, or is just a mediocre character. But one way or the other, you really gotta ask yourself, who let forward air be a kill confirm option? That's a fact. Across, like, every reasonable percentage. Because it's either dunking, which is, you know, what Yoshi's known for, getting those offstage spikes with forward air is the classic, or it sets up into up air. Alternatively, like, forward air itself can lead into any number of offstage situations because it's, even if you get a sour spot, it's setting out pretty far. Oh my god, Frozen is not playing default Peloton. You gotta put on the red dress. That's crazy. That's All the right. gen dress, isn't it? Uh, Jen plays like a bunch of different colors, so I don't think I, I, it's hard to pick one. He normally plays like this and green. I think I feel. Uh, anyway, so Frozen gonna be counterpicking to Battlefield. Uh, Suarez got rid of Lila and Town and City. Um, so like depending on the Palu you're playing, uh, those might make sense. But when you're trying when you're playing against Frozen, he loves his edge cancels. He, if he's gonna tele cancel any time, he uh, any chance he gets. So letting him go to battlefield is definitely like his probably his pristine comfort stage. You know, it's what he wants to go to the most. He wants to keep that movement at a maximum. Swords. Oh god, the very first frame of him catching him off. Nice. Not to mention, battlefield does have like those extra thin ledges, making that more of a thing. Swords typically plays fairly comfortably on battlefield, so I could see why he let Frozen take him there. Yeah. The removal of Lila makes plenty of sense, although like, that's more of a Suarez thing that I could see being a problem for. Yeah, I remember having a conversation with him where he was just like, "This stage is actually good for Yoshi. I just don't like it." And I'm like, "Okay." Yeah. And then the TNC, like, warp Whoa! cancels could be an issue, but this is why I, I like Battlefield, at least as a setting for this matchup. There's so much aerial space that's active that lets Suarez 
Go in for anti airs. Go in for the hail mary hits. Did that? Did that combo? Yep. Really? It yep. looks so slow, but okay. So forward air to grab. What is Yoshi's grab? Is it? Is it standard or is it slower? It's. I can actually. I'll look it up. I want to say it's standard because it's not a tether grab. It's just longer. It's it's just weird. That being said, getting grounded forward air locks you in. No, nah, it's definitely a tether grab. It's actually slower. It's 14 frames. Cool. Okay, yeah, because characters like uh, Ivysaur has a tether grab, and it's 13 frames. This is actually... Uh, so the thing about tether grabs is that they're they're the same across the board, whether it be dash grab, normal grab, or pivot grab. But his is actually extra slow, where it's 14, 16, 17 for grab, dash, pivot. That's... Yikes! Really makes you wonder why you see Suarez grabbing so much. Yeah, I mean, if he knows where in the combos, it's all good. But now we see Frozen having 74% with this stock lead. Uh, about to lap. Now lapping. Yeah, this is Palu in charge of the ledge. Typically, yeah. she's not letting go of any lead. Ooh, but defense gives Sarah a little bit of room to breathe, and you know he's coming for a kill. Okay. Oh, no. I don't like that second there. That almost led into forward tilt. Forward tilt is the true demon of this character. Like, up air is kind of vile. Jump armor is just annoying. But forward tilt is super quick. You can do it at a dash, and it sets up into combos or kills. All right. Really? Oh, my God. Counter out of the egg. So going for that uh, for a defensive option out of egg is, typically speaking, any oh character's best option. Like, if you have a counter... You know the Yoshi's gonna try to do something stupid. On does your the head. input hold thing still exist? I don't think so. I've heard that it does, but I've heard that it doesn't. Too many Yoshi's spread misinformation. That's what the Yoshi's always did. Spread misinformation. I'm actually not even joking, but yeah. Is that like a DI sure you up kind of thing? It, it, it's a brawl thing where they're like, no, this is true, trust me. <laughs> and it's like, why? It's a Yoshi name. Why would he lie to you? And the most trustworthy of people. You know, percentage-wise, Frozen's still holding a lead, but it's a very bloody lead at that. They, end. They're both past the line of they're at kill percent, so it doesn't actually matter. But Frozen gonna whoa. That those headphones came off. He's like, ah, be gone, game audio. Too bad for you. He's adjusting his controller. He is focused. All right, where are we going? So Frozen got rid of FD and Smashville. He definitely wants space. I think we might see either a run back or PS2, and we are going to see PS2. Now, I do remember Suarez telling me that th he thinks that this is Yoshi's best stage. Uh, just having the space and, like, those platforms are so perfectly placed for Yoshi shenanigans. He's just like, yes. For what it's worth, it's also a really good Polytennis stage. This is true. I don't think t uh, Palu actually gives a crap about any stage she's on. As a character, she benefits really well from the legal stage list, and uh, not just this list in particular, but the, like the pool of stages that have been legal in Ultimate's history. Because there's none that are particularly too small, there's none that are particularly too tall. And the fact that a lot of the legal stages are laterally oriented lend themselves really well to her combo game and her zoning game. Because, like, if you can just go higher, Explosive Flame isn't that big of a deal. And if you could go higher, you'll eventually escape Auto Reticle's range. Mm -hmm. And her vertical combo ah. game isn't the best. She could juggle well, but she can't really combo upwards outside of Nair. Man, Palu having out-of-egg options is actually a really big deal. Because, like, if they, want to get, if, they, if they want to attempt a gimmick, they just can't. However, that brings up the, the double-edged sword where if the Palu starts going for it often, and we have seen Frozen go for the uh, Twice counter in a row now. multiple times. Yeah. But Soros could just call it out once again with another egg bite. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. That would have been another perfect opportunity to just set up a, a volley of egg bites. Oh, no! So many helper. Oh, 
Providing the bubble and say, I thought, yeah. Did you make a mess? No, I didn't make a mess. All I just right. made Helper very disappointed, and I don't know what's worse. All right, well, I would have terror. I would have been terrified. <laughs> yeah. Frozen on route to uh, to secure this game, but he's got to be able to take the stock off Suarez first. So I feel like he could take the stage back super easy. Suarez is doing a great job of just getting the hell out of there where he can. Like, the Palu combo gets started, and Suarez wants nothing to do with it. And the Nair, confirmed from the egg, is going to be able to snatch him away game three. Ah! Helper's head bumped my hand. Sorry. Whatever. Well, now that Helper isn't disturbing us. Ah. All right. <laughs> it like came up twice because I had to go from one and it was just like, nope, I'm not done playing it. I'm going to play it again. <laughs> <sighs> All right. <sighs> All right. Let's see it again. Battlefield for game four. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, it works out for both characters yeah. that we're just going to go back and forth between uh, Stadium and Battlefield. And if we are to see another setting... Possibly Kalos? I feel like the, the bands are super consistent between the, the fellas, and they have no reason to not continue this tug of war because of how well they're playing on both stages. I digress. Suarez developed a decent game plan, and cute read over here does put him a little head into uh, game four. <laughs> Yo, that grabbed the back air, too. That's filthy. What are we doing? We're crossing up with Bear. That move is so good. You, Deb, you remember when Yoshi just had one flick of the tail for back air? I. You remember when Yoshi didn't have kill confirms out of the weak hit of back air? What did his back air look like in previous games? His back air in previous games was just him putting out his tail. Once. Are you sure? Yes. So, 64, he had the drop kick. Yeah. Which still remains to be one of my favorite aerials in all of Smash. The idea of, like, Yoshi running up on you and just breaking your ribs is hysterical to me. Um, then he got the... Um, I think he also had kept the back air into Melee, but it wasn't nearly as good. In Brawl and in Smash 4, he had, like, a, just a tail whack. Like, one tail whack. And in Ultimate is where it's three tail whacks. But did not. Okay, yeah. It's it's so the back air is very similar in function to uh, Mega Man's back air, the slash claw, because like you get the three hits. The third one is the dangerous one, but the two other two can lead into something because they have that drag down property. But the way that Suarez utilizes his back air to cross up is just devastating because it itself does decent shield damage. So it has like high potential of shield poking. Oh my god. Frozen, I feel like he's moving a little bit on that autopilot because he's shaking his head like he just wasn't there for that egg into up air. And in reality, Suarez should not have gotten that. But he got it. Sick enough call out. Ray came in here, thought he could dab on me, and that I wouldn't dab right the hell back to him. You gotta let him know. Yeah. And he did that crappy he? one. Mm -mm. He doesn't know how to do it. You gotta, hit, you gotta hit the sharp angles. Yeah. He's like hugging his face with his arm. Tisk tisk. <laughs> That's just bad dabbing for him. Yeah. You know, speaking of bad form, despite the grueling matchup, Suarez here on uh, set point with tied stocks, and he's been playing very well in this game. Oh, what are we doing? No coverage on the warp Whoa. properly. That was the start of an explosive ah. flame. You can't just throw that out with Yoshi breathing down your dress. Oh, the pickup into up here is not killing off base plot. 
Suarez keeping the pressure on high, and Frozen looks like he's trying to go for some sort of close range boxing game, but he's really not in the positioning to do so. He's got to be careful. I hate seeing Frozen just press the buttons like this. Back there going for that shield poke, and just like that, a 3 1 win for Suarez. It may not be for PGR, but it's a good PR win. Yeah. Good job, Suarez. Keep yourself alive. Good man. Ba, ba. All right. All right. So, so the that was, next match. Was that the other Losers 8s match? Yes, it was. So Frozen's okay. going to take seventh place.